questions for student athletes? How cool is this, guys? I can hear you. Oh, <laughs> sorry. How cool is it? You have some Very cool. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm so happy. It's extremely cool. Uh, a lot to take in right now, but we're really thankful for it right now, and just gonna enjoy. It. This is my bestie. You know, nobody <laughs> asks. This is my bestie. You guys had over 11,000 fans today. Just how fun was it to be in front of that big crowd? It was so fun. It was through this whole tournament. It was just amazing watching our crowd grow every game. And especially the student sections and the students coming out here cheering for us. It's just, I really don't know what to say because I never experienced something like this as big because I came from Jugo. But it was just amazing. I just loved it. They get us going. They give us momentum. It's just thank you. Tyon, has that always been you? The, the 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 smiles, the play into the crowd. I mean, did you do that at, at JUCO and in high school, or yes. is that? I'm always happy. Always happy. Even when I'm upset, I'm always. I try to laugh it off. But that's always been me. That's just me. My personality, on and off the court, it's just not for show. That's me, like 24 seven. Right? How, yeah. <laughs> how, how much fun is it to do on a stage like that with that many people part of it? I mean, you came back from the locker room after the injury and. And you guys had a moment. You, yeah. you and the fans, you had a moment. Yeah. Um, it's so fun, and it's just like amazing seeing how much they care about me. And it was so fun. It's just so fun. I mean, I really don't know. I'm just, I'm just excited. We was able to come out here and do what we wanted to do, and which was win the tournament and just have fun as a team. I'm just so happy for us. We worked so hard for this, even though this is not the tournament we want to play in. But still, we worked hard for this every day. So I'm just. Proud of us, honestly. What was the message from Coach in the locker room coming back into the second half? Just be aggressive, play our game, and honestly, like, <laughs> if you go. Uh, pretty much <laughs> like what she said, he just wanted us to come out there and just be us. Each individual, uh, we knew that we needed more from each individual because it's one of that's how we do. Like, we out team people and we out tough people, so we knew we needed everybody coming out of the halftime. So we just pretty much just needed to be us. You guys held a team that averages 79 points a game to just 59 points. How, how big was it to have your defense step up like it did, and, and what was the approach to kind of help limit them? Ain't the same like defense winning championships or something? <laughs> yeah. yeah. We locked in on defense every game. Because honestly, teams only score off our mistakes, so that's something we try to limit. So us just all committed to playing defense as a team is something that we have an advantage of. So. I would say everybody likes playing defense. Yeah, and uh, credit to them. They're a really great team. Uh, got a couple great players. So uh, we knew that we just had to play team defense against them. So and the result was that. Yes. What does this kind of mean for you guys? And what does it kind of set for next year with the opportunity for a lot of guys to come back? Um, hopefully, our fans just see how fun we are as a team to watch and how we play together and how we just fun to watch. So hopefully. Going into next year, our game, I'm not going to say that loud, but that's just speaking into existence. Hopefully, you know, it just grows like every game and more people just come and just support us like they did for this WNIT tournament. Kind of to that point, you know, the ability to kind of show this basketball to the fans, how, how big is that for helping to build that fan support moving forward? Uh, it's, it's really huge. Uh, we knew that we wanted to put the best product on the floor, uh, and we knew that just being us, the fans would just draw to that. And we saw that each game that we played so far in this tournament, and the outcome was, what you say, 11,000 or something like that. And that was just really uh, awesome just to see just Alan fill up just for us women. So we just hope that moving forward, and like you said, next year, uh, hopefully teams, I mean, people could just draw to us and just get their season tickets and just, you know, give us even more chances. KB, uh, it's a long time before late night, but how much did you guys think about what this run could mean for next year and, and not just the crowd, but for you guys as a team and, and your goals and all that stuff? Uh, pretty much, it, I think it'll mean a lot. Uh, like I said before, uh, we think that uh, what we put on the floor and team people just drawing to us and stuff like that, uh, that'll pretty much do take care of everything else. So. Did you talk about it much? I mean, as a, as a group, what this means for next year as a as a as a team, uh, basketball not as a wise. Team, not as a team. Okay. Not yet. Yeah. <laughs> Looking back at the season's journey, what's been a takeaway that makes this team unique? 
how we play together as a team and we overcome a lot of stuff as a team and we just stick together throughout the whole season and just out team people and stay together. Twin, was that the first net you've ever cut down? No. No? Um, <laughs> about Juco, we won like our conference tournament like two years. Okay. So. You just like that bottom piece? <laughs> <laughs> I was just excited to go up there and cut a net in front of Aunt Allen. So. <laughs> Uh, this is for both of you. Um, you all had a moment with Coach at the end, pouring that confetti on him. Just what has he meant to you guys and the program? Me personally, um, Coach Brandon, he means a lot to me. When he was recruiting me, it's just like I'm just happy that we was able to do this for him because how hard he worked for us. So he means a lot to me. I love Coach Brandon. Where you at? Coach Brandon, you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, me personally, I'll just piggyback off what she said. He's just uh, a great person. Uh, a great coach, but really an even better person. Uh, just for what he's done for each individual part of this program and just how genuine he is and just how he always just keeps his word. So uh, I think this is really even better to enjoy because of just to see his face and see him smile, which is rare. Yeah. All right, thanks, ladies. <laughs>